is Mount Uniac, and this is where I grew up. A lot of memories here. Well, heck, this is where it all started. Let's see, 79, 1980. A man named Fud Green just lived down the street. He was fat, real fat, 150 pounds on both sides. And he knew how to work a, a crowd. And that microphone, I was ambitious, man, and I showed no shame. He saw a certain style emerge. He noticed certain similarities between my style and his prized possession, which was his car, 19. 65 Buick Riviera. Similarities were practically endless. We were smooth and dependable, hardworking, riding that fine line between power and finesse. So he'd say, oh, uh, well, just like a 65 Buick, look at him more. Name stuck, you know, 65 Buick. Holy mackerel. Well, those were the days. Spoiled by terrors now. The unique thing about being a musician is that it allows you to absorb life, to observe it. As long as I'm able to watch movies and smell babies' foreheads, then I'm good to go. Driving with the yellow dog, guy 95's got a smile on his face, and big shiny eyes. Up at a decent hour, never ate yet, then a little Johnny Cash in the old tape deck. Nothing in the trunk but some baseball gloves. Pair of jumper cables and a set of golf clubs. Blanket on the back seat, we're in rough shape. Sunroof held on with a bit of duct tape. Looking for a gas station, better make a list. Fill her up with regular, I need to take a piss. Sexy girl, air freshener, stacks in a pinwheel. Top up the fluids, clean the bugs off the windshield. Not a care in the world, not a how and a why. No destination, not a cloud in the sky. Back on the road, not a moment too soon. Dish ran away with some other spoon. Wicked and weird, I'm a road hog with an old dog singing so songs trying to hold on wicked ain't weird i'm a rat fish trying to practice doing backflips on your mattress you know in the last year i've i've toured pretty extensively i've met a lot of people and i've seen a lot of weird things and it's it's been horrible and evil and disgusting but wonderful at the same time I haven't really left any stones uncovered here in North America, well, Mexico, or the North Pole. Other than that, I've been all around. We played in Stockholm last night, sold out show, flying all the way up the street. People couldn't get in, turn them away at the door. <laughs> you know, you set them up, I knock them down. I couldn't believe it, but you know, doing songs and people knew the words to the songs. Pants on fire, we had a sing-along. Yeah, I pretty much just let the crowd do that song for me last night. I just had to play the beat. They, they, took, they took it from there, they did the rest. are on fire and the rest of your clothes is blowing For some strange reason your nose is growing my skin is cold everybody's chin is falling jaws are dropping left and right laws cause the game with the deep in the night i love instrumental music and i love beats and i love listening to a DJ do his thing, but what really appeals to me is words. I just have this like obsession with with words and you know words as a puzzle and seeing how they can be taken apart and put back together again and my experience in Paris has been a big influence on this next record. This is a record that I spent a year on as opposed to uh, the two week maximum that I've had in the past. I believe that this is a, a record that could uh, do a bit of damage. It's the writing that I'm most proud of. I want it to give some people hope. I got the attention of a few kids. Now I want to get the attention of their parents and their nephews and uh, get my music into the hands of people who like other kinds of music besides hip-hop music. Hip-hop music used to be about fighting against the status quo. Now it is the status quo. And so I just, I need to find music that, that appeals to me or that makes some kind of sense to me. And I've heard Johnny Cash songs that kick the ass of your most hardcore gangster rap song. I would say the first time I got all these guys together would have been March 2002. I knew by just having these guys in the studio and basically playing live that there was some possibilities in there that could be tapped into and turned into something pretty mighty. Pen is deep, sit with my back to the television, thinking deeply, watching the ink seep into the page. The war is our wage, I fought to the finish with written symbols and nimble fingers, cause I'm a pen deep. That's where I'm at, man. I'm just a student, man. I just want to know about music, all kinds of music, and where it all came from, and I like it to be simple. 
you know, and pure. 20 some years is a long walk, even if it's not in a straight line. You see a lot of things in the distance, you know, what they say about great minds. All I know is that I'm giving it my best shot, and I want people to. I want people to love it, and I want to make some kind of difference. 65.